I knew that I was gonna marry Katie very soon, like into when we started dating. Like she was just like, I don't know, like I just, I just knew. She was, she was literally like an answer to prayer. So the first time Katie and I met, we actually met at Bible Camp, and we were introduced to a group of mutual friends. We're actually in separate family groups, and without our friends introducing us, we probably never would have seen each other. There's just too many people at Bible Camp. So when we first met each other, we exchanged our our aims and our MySpace. I don't even I don't even remember what her aim was, but I know mine was like Dark Next 382. And we started messaging each other on instant AIM and instant messaging each other. We became relatively good friends, just MySpace friends, and we started talking to each other more and more, and then we finished high school, and we went off to different colleges, and then we started, you know, hanging out with other people and dating other people, and nothing much really happened during that time. We just were kind of background friends on Facebook and MySpace and things like that. So we just kept talking, casual friends here and there. She would ask me questions about people. She was actually interested in a couple of my friends, but I just, I gave her like pieces of advice. I was like, hey, you know, one day there's gonna be a dude out there that likes you for who you are. And like, you don't, you won't have to try, you know, he's just gonna love you for who you are. We both went back to Loma Linda and we both kind of met up again. And I invited him to a Valentine's Day thing, our occupational therapy class is putting on. And I kind of mass texted like 30 different people, like, hey, come to our fundraiser. No one's really here, so you guys should all come and help out. And the only reason she invited me was because her class was hosting it and it was lame and nobody was showing up. And really the only reason I went was because I didn't want to do a project. You know, I'm always going to pick fun over homework. So I saw her there, we talked, and she found out that I rock climbed. So she's like, hey, yeah, you should take me rock climbing sometime. And we started talking. And it actually started out because we I really wanted to go rock climbing, so I asked him like, hey, you go rock climbing, we should go sometime, as total platonic friends from the past. And so we started climbing more and getting to know each other and hanging out in our sweaty gym clothes, and that was it. And yeah, and eventually I was like, this girl is, she's something else. So I told her, like, hey, I think we should date. And she was really on the fence about it at first. She was saying that, no, I don't. I think we should just be friends. I, I like how it is. You know, it's like, what if we mess things up? And then I had to. Make, I gave her my counterpoint. I was like, what if we don't mess things up? You know, this is, this is really awesome. And she's like, yeah, you're right. along so well. We loved doing all of the same things and he would just do anything to make me laugh and I know it sounds real like generic but you know like he'll just start meowing out of nowhere if I'm having a bad day or he's just somebody I can really talk to about anything like he's somebody I you know if anything awesome happens or bad happens he's the first person I want to talk to. Uh, another thing that I really love about Katie is her adventurous spirit. You know, she loves to travel, go places, be outside, and that's something that like I really love to do too. And it's it's something that I just kind of started doing. But uh, in terms of adventuring, like she's she's really gutsy. Um, we've gone on some like really sketchy hikes, and like I'm I'm there. I'm just basically tiptoeing, and she's just going for it. She's just moving. She's like, come on, keep up with me. Um, and then even with rock climbing, she's. She's really graceful on the rock, like she knows how to move and like it looks really scary a lot of the times but she just she just makes it look easy. Just so silly and he's so reliable and amazing. <laughs> he's got nice forearms too. For you, Marvin. <laughs> she likes food. I don't think she likes food as much as I do, but you know, she's she's willing to come hang out and eat with me whenever I wanna go, eat something bad. And then 
even when we're not eating bad food, like if I want to eat healthy, she's she's totally up for eating healthy too, and I, I really like that about her. You know, she's she's flexible. She's she does a lot of things. Uh, she's really smart. Um, you know, as a practitioner, like she knows her stuff. Uh, she talks about her patients all the time and like all the work that she's doing. And, like I work, I work in the lab, so I have no idea of anything she's talking about. So I'm like, man, I wouldn't want to do that. Dress, grab two golden bands. The world will stare in jealousy because they don't understand like you and me. I will always be there. I've fallen, seriously fallen apart for you. In terms of the ring, um, I looked around at a lot of places, looked at a lot of like different settings, uh, lots of different rocks. But eventually, you know, she suggested, like, you know, you have a you have a friend that makes jewelry, like, why don't you have her make my ring? I'm like, wow, like, why didn't I think of that? So I actually asked one of my really good friends, Lonnie, uh, to like help me design a ring. So she worked with me in designing a custom ring uh, for Katie. And it, it was really cool because I really felt a part of the design process. It was very like nature inspired and Katie loves nature. And it's like, you know, it's a ring just for her. Uh, when it came to acquiring the ring, I actually had to get it the day right before we left for Hawaii. So I kind of knew it was coming. It happens while we're in Hawaii. Well, like two weeks after I graduated school, we went to a friend's wedding, in, my close friend's wedding in Hawaii. And I kind of knew it was coming because he met up with his good friend to pick up the ring like the day before we left. But, you know, I didn't want to say anything because it was going to be a surprise. So, But I'm not very good at surprises, so I was like, oh, is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? The night before we left, like I still hadn't told her parents that I was planning to propose. So I finally caught a quiet moment with her dad and I, I sat him down. I was like, you know, Uncle Ron, like I really love Katie. You know, I want to marry this girl. And he's like, you know, we're, we're happy to have you in the family. And I was so relieved. Like, like, like the weight just like fell off my shoulders. Felt so good. But that was just um, her dad. I still hadn't asked her mom yet. So the following morning, I got up real early because I know Auntie May like wakes up really early, and I told her, I'm like Auntie May, like I love Katie a lot, like I, I want to marry her, and she was happy too. Like it's just, I felt a lot of love from the family. It felt really good. Day, day one, night one of Hawaii, I asked him, like, so uh, are you gonna propose to me in Hawaii? Because <laughs> I hate anticipating surprises, like whether it'll happen or not. So I asked him, you know, he's the awesome. You know, planner and trickster and liar that he is. He's like, no, like I wanted to, but I didn't get the ring in time. So I was like, oh, all right, like that's okay. The day prior, she asked me, she's like, were you planning to propose on this trip? And I'm like, uh, yeah, I was going to, but I don't, I don't have a ring to propose with. So if I do, when I do, it's not gonna happen. And I don't know. I thought she was kind of a sucker because she fell for it. You know, I would have never have believed that. I'd be like, this guy, he's full of it. So, you know, we just went on with our Hawaii trip. I didn't think anything of it because, you know, we didn't get it in time and that's fine. So, uh, like three or four days later, we were having a good time and I really wanted to do this hike. And I was like, we have to do the hardest hike in Oahu. And we dragged my three friends up too and they kind of, some of them really wanted to do it. And, and we're like, okay, let's go on a hike. So we went up and I was kind of dying on that hike. Like I was the last one. I was like kind of miserable, but it was beautiful. But, you know, she was still choosing good spirits, just admiring the view. And then out of nowhere, I just came down on one knee and she was like, no, no, like she was, she just could not believe what was happening. Very top, you know, we were taking a picture with our friends and they were all taking our pictures and he had the ring. There's going to be a picture, there's pictures of it, but the ring is right next to my head. And then we took pictures and then he got down on one knee and asked me, 
and the first thing I said was no because I was so surprised because he lied to me for about a week. Yeah, she said yes. She felt so good. We were surrounded by her friends. They were all really happy. Some of them were crying. She was kind of crying. I was I was so happy when he proposed. Uh, we talked about it for a really long time, and it was just it was a really good surprise, but it wasn't. And I was really happy to be spending my life with him.